What's up people of the internet? I'm the big bolt here with yet another video. In this video we will be testing the Intel Celeron N2840 which is a CPU based on the Silvermount architecture and part of the Patreon family of power efficient processors. It has two cores and two threads and it has a frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics Patreon as the integrated graphics which have 4 unified shaders and a frequency of up to 792 MHz in the N2840 case. It's also based on the Intel HD 4000 architecture, where using the latest Jarox fluid available. We also have 4GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 500GB hard drive for the operating system and also in which the game is installed. As for operating system, we're using Windows X Lite Rest on Revival version 2. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we'll be benchmarking today is Ghost Runner 1. Shout out to the guy who requested it, but here's something funny to think about. This YouTuber right here tried to run the game on his Intel Celeron N4000 laptop. And you know, 4000 is a higher number, so logically it's more powerful than my Celeron. And well, in his video the game didn't work at all. But guess what? For some reason, it works on my Celeron. So what's going on here? Is there some magic going on here? Or in fact the entry rate 40 is better than the N4000, what the hell? Also, I'm gonna run the memory duct up before starting the game and I've set it to clean the RAM once usage reaches 90%. And one very important thing to know, if for some reason you want to try Ghost Runner 1 on this exact same specs or similar or the Intel HD 4000, 2500 or Ivy Bridge, never turn on FSR. The game will crash and you won't be able to restart it unless you do a config file modification. Anyway, let's get straight to the point now.
Termination protocol initiated. If you are unhappy with playing Ghost Runner 1 at less than 15 FPS, we should probably are considering that this is a very fast paced game, then I have a trick up my sleeve to increase the FPS, and also turn the cyberpunk graphics into old Roblox graphics, so follow me. First, let's navigate to the config file directory of the game, which is in users, updater, local, Ghost Runner, Saved, Config, Windows No Editor. Now, here's my Loet mod, whose download link I will provide in the pinned comment. Before proceeding further, I would recommend to back up the scalability.ini file in case you want to take some futuristic screenshots later on. So, Copy and replace the scalability.ini file with the one from the low end mod and let's see what kind of a beauty we created.
Termination protocol initiated. Prisoner termination protocol initiated. Strange. 